Welcome everyone to the HBL PSL 2024 match number six. The Peshawar Zalmi led by the ever popular Babar Azam against Shan Masood's Karachi Kings. A little while ago, Simon Dool was out there in the middle with uh, two excellent gentlemen. Karachi won the toss and chose to field first. So Babarazam and his team will have first hit. And uh, for them, there is one change. Wakar Salamkil comes in for Dan Mousley, the young batting all-rounder from the UK. A couple of changes for the Karachi Kings. Irfan Khan Niazi is in. Mohammed Aklak is in. Amir Khan and Saad Sa Big are out. But they are in desperate need of a good bowling performance, first of all. Oh, 42-year-old Shoaib Malik with the new ball in hand. Oh! He's knocked him over straight away. What a start, what a move from Shan Masood and Shoaib Malik. The matchup works like magic. And nothing makes me more happy than an off spinner taking the stumps off a left hander batter. The arm ball right on the money. Big wicket here. Saimayub goes without making runs. Peshawar not for one. Found the gap this time. Little dress rehearsal, the ball before, but now into that gap. But pick the gap, that's key. If anyone can make batting look easy, it's Barbar Azam. Runs, lovely runs. What a sight when he plays this way, what a touch play. Finds a gap. Busy player, Harris. Pollard's tracking it, he's tracking it, and he takes it. It's a good catch. Merhamliza strikes. Another one down. Mohammad Harris playing a shot that was not necessary. They got 16 of the last over. Goes after the bowler on ball number one, and he has not been able to play him confidently in the first over. Mohammad Harris gone for six. Peshawar 26 for two. Splits the gap. No deep third. They've got a deep point. Third man up in the circle. Pierce the gap beautifully. Hold him, straight past the outside edge. What a beauty to start from Hassan Ali. Target the stumps. That was the word for the day, the tip of the day by Bukhar Yunus. And have a look at that. Brilliant delivery. Good length, top off, off. Another big blow. Tom Gong on two, three down. Peshawar on 40. Pulled nicely. Couple of bounces or one bounce for four. Yeah, that's a poor delivery. Especially considering that the leg side boundary is just 61 meters. Dropping short against Powell. You're asking for trouble. Finishes with a poor, short, wide one. Rovman Powell helps himself to four. 13 from the over, 55 for three. And Raza and Michael Goff uh, standing in the middle today. It's turned fine and it races across the turf for four more. That has been struck with immense power. 
Grovman Powell. Time to break the shuttles. Power. Good use of the feet. Covered the line and through the line. A lot of power on that occasion. Lovely shot. Lovely use of the feet. 50 up for Babarazam. He's 31st. Score of 50 or more in PSL. And another scholarship with a six as well. Babar Azam, captain of Peshawar Zalmi, using his feet, bringing up his 50 in style. That's a poor ball. S sign that one, as that's gone for another boundary. 100 up. 100 for three. What a fight back this is now. Straight down the ground, Kyron Pollard can just stand there and watch it go miles over his head. Another scholarship, three sixes in the innings so far. It's another exclamation mark on how Powell tries to play. Not sure he needed to do that. Reverse sweep should be taken, is taken. Wow, they needed that, the Karachi Kings. And it's the end of Rodman Powell. Well, this is what Karachi Kings desperately needed, and they need another one quickly because it was a restorative partnership of 68 from 47. And Powell goes for 39, 108 for four. Field set then. Poor delivery, poor start. Fine leg up, help yourself. Asif Ali won't mind that. He generally doesn't get a lot of time on the pitch. Oh dear, that's power and enough. And enough on the bigger side of the ground. First six for Asif Ali. Straight down the ground with power, not enough though, not enough, taken, Pollard, long on, pace off, and a wicket. Asif Ali probably was in his slot, the only problem was it was too far away, rather than trying to go towards the offside, he opted to go straight down the ground, never got the middle of the bat, but safe hand there. Big wicket for Peshawar, gone on 23, Asif Ali, 136 for 5. Straight up from Amir Jamal, who wants it? Cover. Shan Masood, the skipper, comfortable. Well, I don't think they want to get there. Your job was to just rotate the strike, give the strike back to Babar Azam, but no. Hitting it up the air and comfortable catch. It was a slow delivery once again. And Peshawar Zalmi not having so much fun. 140 for six. Oh, spot on again. Beautifully bowled. Oh, no. Poorly fielded, though. Lost the ploy. And who was that down there with him? Commu oh, dear. Find the man at mid wicket. Oh, great save in the end. Irfan Niazi. That is a terrific effort. In the end, I think if he'd caught it, he might have gone over the boundary anyway. So just decided to save the runs. Out. Gone, gone. Great caught and bowled Mir Hamza. Chipped it straight back to him. Was only looking for one, trying to get himself back on strike. Baba pays the price. Last nail in the coffin. Yes, he was little too careful just wanted to nudge it on the onside for a single wanted to keep the strike knew Hamza wasn't dropping that good innings without a doubt 72 of 51 147 for seven
Slower ball, chipped and taken. It's the captain again with another good catch. And Daniel Sam's slower ball working. Things were going so smoothly, so nicely for Peshawar Zalmi. And now they're just throwing their wickets away. Brilliant catch by captain himself. And another wicket gone. 148 for it. Arsenali with the last. Luke Wood goes bang, leg side. And long enough. 150 comes up. And another scholarship courtesy of KFC. When he got hold of that, for sure. It's a way up to cover point and taken. That is a really good catch. Irfan Khan Niazi. Yeah, he saved at least five runs earlier. And now picking up a catch. A wonderful fielder had to run in. Bigger boundary. He was right on the boundary. Had to run in and then... There's a little slide to grab that one. And Luke gone for eight. It's 154 for nine now. Wakar Salam Khail is the new batter. A little bit high and leg side. No. No. The batters have got a review, so they will take that. Okay. Pitching in line. Uh, impact in line. Wickets missing. We go back to Asan on field to reverse his decision to not out. You're on screen now, please signal. Just in the air a little bit, Salam Keel. Maybe not. That one is out, isn't it? If he hasn't hit it. Oh, go. he's going again. And maybe he's got an inside edge on it. Dragging the game out. Over to you, Richard Illingworth. OK, pitching outside off. Impact is umpire's call. Wickets is hitting. Go back to Hassan on field to stay with his original decision of out. Hassan, you're on screen now. Play six. Stick with your original decision, and that will end the Zalmi's batting effort. The first time in 44 games that Wakar Salam Kiel has been dismissed in T20s. But 154 all out in the end with just one ball remaining. Robert got to see two brilliant 72, but after that, only Powell and Asaf Ali could contribute 39 for him. Nasif Ali gone 23, they just managed 154. Is it enough? We'll see about that. And those numbers represent very good value pretty much throughout. Three for 30, Hassan Ali and then three for 28 for Mir Hamza, who was very good, just the one over for Shoaib Malik. One for three, the dismissal of saying it, same Ayub, and a couple of wickets for Daniel Sams as well. So that's the target for the Karachi Kings. One of these teams will walk away with the points after today, having both lost their first games. Kings need 155 to win. There we go. So 155 for the Kings to win. Nice stop. Shabbos Elni bowlers have the blueprint from Karachi King bowlers. An experienced uh, left arm pace bowler. Oh, that's a good shot. A little bit of pace. That hip pocket ball put away. They're off the mark with a boundary. Plays within himself. This time also, just a touch. Pure timing there, using the pace and the field placement. Oh, what a shot. What a beautiful looking shot this is. Pace on, pure timing. This shows how good a form a batter is in. It's not an easy shot to play. On the legs, look at the balance, the head position. In the air. Has he got enough of it? It's to the bigger part. Just, only just. Rodman Powell, great effort. And the over is finished with a maximum, 20 without loss. Mohammad Akhlaq loves the leg side. The moment you are going to give him some short deliveries, Robin Paul trying to keep it in, a bit too far for him. Top edge, top edge, 
should be taken, is eventually taken. Luke Wood has the first, and that Zalmi needed that. What an important wicket here. Chan Masood, who's looking so good. Luke Wood had this plan against him. Just one fielder there, not in control of the shot. Takes the edge. And on the second, third attempt, big mitts of Robin Powell keeps it in. Chan Masood walks back for 12, Karachi 24-1. Just talking away. Maybe he needs to get back on the field, quick, sharp. All the way for another six and another scholarship. Mohammad Zishan, the inexperience coming in when he saw him walking, pulls it back, but it's too easy for Mohammad the clock this length. 72 sixes we've had in the competition so far. This is a poor delivery. Mohammad the clock is having a good time. Up and over. Aggressive way to finish it off. It'll be a four to finish, an expensive over, 19 from it. Four overs have done, and the Kings are 39 for one. Should be out. Keeper calls. Takes it. Luke Wood has his second. Hamid Harris gets himself in the position. And they are now two down, the Kings. Luke Wood was looking good. Trying to go after him. Was in no position, was still walking down when the impact happened. And a really good catch from Mohammad Harris. Mohammad the clerk has to go, go back for 24, Karachi 40 for two. Pulled and powerfully over long on. For six. Show of Malik. This first boundary. Waiting for it. Look at those eyes just opening up and, and, and connecting the ball nicely. Let it wide off uh, that mid on fielder. 78 meters. An inside edge on that one, uh, Jamal. There's a little inside edge on that one. And straight away, James Vince went for the review. Well, it's now 36 and 5. But he got it right. He got the first part right, Michael Goff. And it probably looked fairly good. If he thought pad first, that is unbelievable for him to see that and to notice that first and foremost. OK, it was missing leg, I get that. But the fact that he has seen it hit the pad first, fair play to him. Straight up. That might be one, or has it got enough on it? It was an edge, but it's gone far enough. Goodness me, the game is unfair. <laughs> he had enough wood on it. Yeah, he wanted to go mid on. This was actually a top edge and gone straight for 81 meters. That's unbelievable. These modern bats. Nicely played. A little bit short, a little bit wide, and controlled by Shoaib Malik. These two in no rush. It's first ball! What a delivery! Salam Kiel tosses it up, invites Shoaib Malik in, and well, what a breakthrough! Excellent flight, enticed him to use the feet. Goes away from Shoaib Malik. Not many time spinners can do that to him. Shoaib Malik, who was looking really good, gone for 29. Karachi Kings, 91 for three. Not when it's Kyron Pollard. That shot didn't work, Baba. Leave him alone. If only that made him even angrier, I think. Yeah, you can see the eyes. That was a huge blow. As easy as you like. He's not going to miss these. Oh, he's gone slower. And this is slapped over extra cover. And it's a front foot no ball. 
It's a front foot noble. Look at the batters thinking Christmas time has come early. Does he get enough of it? Does he? Yes. Gets it past Luke Wood. Told him he's trying to hit it straight. Another one. It's a massive one. Maybe the biggest six so far. Oh, you can't ball him there. You just cannot ball him there. Brings a huge bat lift. 114 meters. Cleared with some ease. A little bit flatter. Gets it past extra cover. Really good from the experienced Kyron Pollard. 14 from the first three deliveries. What can Wackar do now? It's gone up again. Straight out of the park. Two sixes, two fours, 20 from the first four deliveries. It's too strong there. A lot of bottom hand coming in, 91 meters. You cannot ball these deliveries. Doesn't need to use any feet. Generating that length and power. What hitting. Outstanding batting here. Pace off again. It's gone for four as well. Just rolled his wrists on it and raced across the outfield. 50 partnership up in 20 balls. Oh, gets away with it, gets away with it. Down over third, who's up inside the circle. 150 comes up, and just five required now. Came in with a very aggressive mood. It might be two, and it might be four, actually, and it'll finish the game. Excellent from James Vince. Excellent from the Karachi Kings in a run chase. It's the uh, first time they've beaten the Zelmi in the last seven outings. They get the job done courtesy of a 66-run partnership between Kyron Pollard and James Vince. 12-24-38, Vince ended up not out. Malik with a runner ball 29 and finished off in style and in power by Kyron Pollard, 49 from 21. 157 for three in the 17th over. Two for Wood, one for Salam Khil, although he went for 13 and a half, and nothing for the rest of the Zelmi bowlers. 154 all out uh, with one ball remaining with the Zelmi. Bubba was superb with his 72 from 51. The Karachi Kings getting the job done comfortably and winning by seven wickets.